You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, this video is definitely a crossover between the topics we would actually talk about here on this channel and also on the Black and White Network channel. Now, over there on the Black and White Network channel, we do cover a lot about what's actually happening in schools and also about the grooming of children by woke leftists. So here we are again, guys. This time is going into the world of sports and they're coming for your children. Now, we've done videos in the past on uh, pride events at like NBA games where the um, Milwaukee Bucks actually had a full on drag show at halftime of an NBA game. You see, guys, I refuse to actually watch the Marxist NBA of China, mainly because they went full anti-American in 2020. Now, halftime shows actually have drag queens over there. Yeah. Not going back to the NBA. We've done videos on hockey, the NHL. They decide to actually have this uh, transgender hockey event. And guess what? Somebody got hurt in that event. And also you got hockey players now refusing to actually bend a knee and wear a pride jersey. Also in MLB. These MLB teams, too, are also having pride nights. However, the players were never actually forced to actually wear the jerseys. If they didn't want to wear it, some of them stayed in the locker room or they just wore their regular jerseys. But guys, this is very, very concerning here about what's actually going on over there in Australia. This is just scary right here, guys, because now. Six year old kids. They are being forced I'm going to say that again. They're being forced to actually wear a pride jersey or they cannot participate in a soccer game. I mean, this is just unbelievable that these kids are going to be forced to not participate because they refuse to bend the knee. Here we go. Look at this, guys. This is on the Daily Mail. Outrage after six year olds told they must wear pride shirts to play soccer at halftime of an A-League game. Yeah, this is going to be happening at um, halftime of a game. And the children must wear the jersey or the shirt in order to participate. Now, of course, this is not America, but. This is happening in Australia. I'm not surprised. Remember doing the whole uh, lockdowns over there? I mean, Australia went like full communists over there. I mean, it was insane. They had some of the hardest lockdown rules in the world. But let's go ahead and read some of this. Parents of primary school age children have been told their kids are required to wear pride T-shirts if they want to play in an A-League Halftime game because they want these children indoctrinated. Nothing more. Uh, The game is taking place during the A-League inaugural Pride Celebration Round. Held between February 24th and 26th with a follow-up round on March 4th in New Zealand. The marquee game of the round is between Adelaide United and Melbourne Victory at Melbourne's AAMI Park on February 26th when the children will take the field during the break. These kids are being used to push propaganda and an agenda. It comes after last year's fiasco in the NRL where seven uh, mainly Sea Eagles players set out a key match in a lead up to the finals after the club opted to wear rainbow stripe pride jerseys without notifying the squad. I believe we actually did a video on that. I don't remember for sure. But it goes on here. It names all these players. And I'm not going to pr- try to pronounce their names. 
because I will definitely butcher the names here. But I believe it's uh, seven players here all refused to wear the jersey, citing religious reasons for their decision. But apparently, guys, these kids, their religious uh, beliefs, I guess, don't come into play. They're not allowed to have any type of relig- religious beliefs. And guess what? The parents are outraged on this. They're uh, outraged about this. In order to play in the February 26th A-League game, the children must wear the rainbow jerseys, sparking backlash from parents and fans. Quote, please note that Melbourne Victory will be celebrating Pride Cup at this fixture. As such, participants playing halftime um, small sided games will be wearing a specially designed Pride T-shirt during the game. The registration form given to one junior coach read by continuing with this registration form. You agree to your child wearing the MVFC pride t-shirt. The form seen by the Herald Sun advises a furious parent told the newspaper it was not appropriate and kids should not uh, be kept out of social. The kids should be kept out of social and cultural matters. Yeah. But the thing is, I said it before. The children are the future. And this is how they turn your kids into activists is actually through acts like this. And the activists, they know that. So now, at least in Australia, if you don't bend a knee, then your kids cannot participate. Man, we have just fallen so far in a short time. Says here, a furious parent told the newspaper. It was not appropriate and kids should be uh, kept out of social and cultural matters. It's uh, deeply disturbing that the Melbourne victory is forcing six year old children to be moving billboards right on the money. He said, while I personally agree with the concept of pride and the safety of all LGBTQI plus persons to participate in sport, primary age school children are not the correct avenue to express these sentiments. One fan wrote uh, to Twitter that they didn't believe inclusion was forcing uh, kids to wear pride shirts. Yeah. And also, by the way, guys, former NBA player Andrew Bogut, of course, he's from Australia. He put this out. More examples of inclusion this time by. And that's that actually that soccer league right there, because the Herald Sun. Um, he put out this tweet from the Herald Sun. Uh, parents told kids must wear a pride T-shirts or risk missing out on Melbourne victory game. You see, they don't want kids just to be kids. They refuse to actually let kids be kids. And I mean, they're going for kids at a super duper young age, even out here in Texas, in Austin. They were actually having um like a pride pride events in elementary school and you had all these little kids six years old running around in rainbow attire and alphabet attire pride flags that's happening here in this country too it's sickening a spokesperson for Melbourne victory said the children were not being forced to wear the jersey and could play another day if they didn't want to in other words you're still banning them if they don't want to wear the jersey look at this Quote, the club has not forced any of its players, staff, fans or junior participants to wear or participate in anything that they are not comfortable with. A spokesperson said this game is a celebration of LGBT. I plus they changed they changed the acronym again. OK, anyway, uh, participation in sport. And we have put uh, processes in place to ensure those who are not comfortable to participate in a day. As a whole, we'll have the option to participate in another match day they feel comfortable participating in. Yeah. In other words, we're going to ban you at this event if you don't wear the shirt. I mean, this is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy right here. What they're doing to six year old kids. And they're going to keep pushing this boundary if um, we don't actually step up. And say things about it. I was actually uh, tagged on Twitter here by one of our uh, followers. I appreciate that because um, 
other than that, I probably would have not known about this. I probably wouldn't have. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.